I'm going to show you how to fully automate your content creation process by training your very own custom AI model. Now, I know what you're thinking. I've tried this, bro. All the AI scripts I get are generic and sound cringe as fuck. Trust me, I'm well aware of this. That's why I literally built a software that solves this problem because, well, what I needed simply didn't exist until now. Now I have a bunch of little AI copywriters that specialize in each type of content I create. I have a LinkedIn post generator, an Instagram real script generator, a tweet generator, you name it, I probably have an AI assistant trained to write exactly how I want. And no, this isn't a custom GPT or Jasper or any of that shit you've ever heard of. That stuff's all garbage compared to what I'm about to show you. This is a process called fine tuning an AI model. This means you're literally feeding it real examples of your desired writing style and injecting that shit into its code. When you're prompting, you're just telling the AI model how to write. But even if you try to give it a few examples, it still just sucks. But when you're fine tuning, you're showing the AI model what to do by giving it the ideal way to respond to a given topic. To give you a look at the power of fine tuning, let's take a look at some examples. This is my Twitter model trained on 250 tweets that I really like. I'm going to have to write a tweet about AI YouTubers. Now let's look at the IG reels. Let's just have it write about the same topic. So as you can see, I didn't give it much at all and it still whipped out a pretty decent script in an entirely different style. So how did I do this? Well, it's simple. You feed the AI your best tweets, IG scripts, or whatever you want, and it learns to adapt to your style. But to do this without coding, you have to use my software, which is called Dojo AI. And I'm not just saying this, I used to fine tune the old way, which involved custom code, automations, and a bunch of extra steps that I promise that you don't want to deal with. We automate the part of putting together the data set, we automate the prompting, and we even automate the actual training. So literally all you need to do is paste in your example writing styles and boom, a new AI copywriter is born. And unlike your human copywriter who's probably in high school and hung over half the time, this thing works 24 seven and spews out amazing, completely original copy instantly. I've literally had clients fire their full-time copywriters and switch to only using the AI models I trained for them because they are that damn good. And look, even if you suck at making content, that doesn't matter because you can take any piece of content on the internet to train these on. So if you really want to tweet like Alex Ramosi, then train an AI model on his tweets. If you want to write emails like Russell Brunson, then train a model on his emails. The beauty of this is that you can get as specific as you want, but it's not going to plagiarize. So let's not waste any time because in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to train your own AI copywriter in Dojo so you can finally start using AI successfully to write your content. I'll be training an Instagram Reels script generator, and to do this, I'll use my own Reels. All right, so let's jump into the platform. So feel free to follow along and you can get a free account. However, you will not be able to train. Uh, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial, but you will be able to navigate over here to the marketplace tab and use some of the pre-built models that we've already trained for you. This should give you a good idea as to uh, what you can do with this tool. Uh, and it's actually the exact ones I showed you earlier. Uh, the money, Twitter and Instagram rail script generator are right here for you to feel free to go try. Uh, but anyways, I have a new fresh account here on the pro plan and this is the home tab. This is just where you'll see some of your recent generations. However, I do not have any generations yet, uh, but let's go right over into train. So train will take you right here to a tab that says data sets. Data sets are essentially what you are going to uh, feed the AI model and train it up, right? So in my case here, I will be feeding it a bunch of my Instagram Reels scripts so that the AI can understand, you know, how I talk, how I want the format, things that I talk about, stuff like that. So first things first, let's go ahead and create the new data set. I'm just going to call this gap in his reels. And then you'll see, we have some templates here for you and Instagram is a template. So by selecting one of these templates, we help automate some aspects of the prompting, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but if you do select other here, you will have to enter your own prompts. So I'll press create data set and boom. Now you'd be taken to a tab like this. We have the name right here, Gavage Reels, uh, and you'll see there's an input and an output. So before we dive into this, let's just cover what's going on up here. So the data set, of course, this is where you'll put your examples, models. So you can have multiple AI models uh, right within the same data set, right? So let's say I train this uh, with 20 examples of my reels, uh, but then you know I end up adding 10 more, 20 more to a data set, I can actually go train another model and that's gonna show up as a version two of that model, which of course, hopefully uh, is better, right? It, it performs better overall. Next, over in settings, 
Uh, this is the prompts that I was talking about, right? So you can change the name of the data set if you need. And then there's a few things here. We have the pros template and the system prompt. So you can hover over this and it'll tell you and remind you what this is. Uh, but just think of the system prompt as the overall instructions for the AI model. Uh, the more detailed that you can get with the system prompt, the better your model will perform. So by selecting Instagram as the template there, we have automated this uh, being entered of you are an expert at writing amazing short form scripts. Please write a short form script of the topic I provide. So if I want to modify this, I can add in something here like in the style of myself. And then, you know, maybe if there's some specific things that you wanted to enter, you know, some more context, feel free to do that here. Totally up to you and would encourage you to do that. Uh, now the prompts template. So this, as you can see, reads, write a short form script about topic in the style of TikTok. So that's what we automated there. And you're probably wondering, what is this topic variable? Well, that's exactly what you put in the input over here. So I'll save this for a second. Let's look at the data set. We'll add an example. And the input is that topic, right? So if I were to type in pizza right here, uh, the prompt template and what the AI model will read is write a short form script about pizza in the style of TikTok. Okay, so uh, I would enter, you know, pizza here and then I would output. This would just be a script that I've previously written about pizza. Uh, I don't have any Instagram real scripts about pizza, so um, not going to actually enter anything there. But hopefully you understand uh, what the prompt template is doing there, right? And I'm going to change it from in the style of TikTok to in the style of myself. And of course, guys, you can modify this to your needs, uh, whatever makes the most sense for you. So we'll save that and let's go back to adding data. So let's add an example uh, and we're not going to do pizza. We're going to actually uh, add in my actual real scripts. And there's a few ways to do that. Number one, of course, is manually going in and pasting in or typing in. Uh, the content that you want to train on. So that'll obviously take a long time. And we do have a few easier ways for you to import data. So right up here in the upload data tab, you'll see that there is a option for Instagram Reels as well as an option for CSV. Uh, so in my instance, we will be using uh, both of these to demonstrate it, but Instagram Reels is nice and easy. So let's show you how to do that one first. So if I click on this, you'll be taken to this page, which says paste in the URL. Uh, of your video below, and it'll be transcribed to you as an, as an example. So let's go over my Instagram and just grab my most recent reel. I have it pulled up here. We'll just grab that URL and they sit over in a dojo. And in just a second here, it should transcribe my script. Perfect. All right. So uh, this is accurate. Of course, read it. It's not going to be perfect. As you can see here, it did not get chat GBT correct. So I'll just change that. And then I like my scripts to be in a little bit of a different style. So a huge part of this fine tuning process is you can have it output in whatever style you want. So it doesn't have to be a paragraph like this, but like it always is um, with typical chat GBT or Claude. So I like my spacing like this. This is just how I like to read my script better. So I'm going to go through and do this real quick. Perfect. So as you can see, I have everything spaced out here. I don't need punctuation. That doesn't really matter to me. And now all I have to do is type in a topic for this script. So uh, again, we're reading it as that template there, right? Write a short form video script about, and I'm just going to put an AI eval generator in the style of Gavin Thibodeau. Then I give it the output. So it's trained to understand exactly what I sound like, what I talk about, how I want it to be styled, all of that good stuff. So uh, again, I'll just save this. Now this is an example in our data set here. So that's how you import right from Instagram Reels. Uh, however, I'm not going to have you sit there and watch me do this a bunch of times. I do conveniently have a CSV that's full of all of my Instagram scripts, um, as well as the topic associated with that. But I'll go through the topics, explain a little bit as to why I prompted it that way. Uh, so hopefully that should be helpful. But let's go back to upload data. Let's grab the CSV. We'll upload that and then we'll just simply map uh, which one is the output and which was the input. So in my instance, uh, the user message is the input, the assistant response is the output is already mapped correctly. And we'll just press create training examples. And then boom, we have 44 examples here 
So if we click through these, you can see uh, all of my different scripts along with the topic, right? So uh, bland AI phone caller. This is my script that's about bland AI, right? So this one's short. You'll notice I have a wide variety of different scripts. Uh, it's literally just everything that I'm already using. And then the topics are, are pretty broad, you know, fine tuning chat GBT. Um, it just is kind of a general script about fine tuning chat GBT. But if I were to input this again, after I've trained the model, I wanted to have something original and broad like this. Um, so really the point is here to just get this to understand your style. Okay. Again, use another example. I just wrote in the use social tutorial. So remember this is reading us, write A short form script about use social tutorial in the style of Gavin Thibodeau. And then the script is just about, you know, how to use dojo. Uh, but look at this. I mean, I'm swearing, I'm saying this is going to piss off all our copywriters. This is training the AI to start saying things like this. It's not going to copy exactly. Uh, but it might say piss off, right? Finally in scripts. It's very hard to get judging dear Claude to do this kind of stuff. Uh, so overall, you know, it's pretty broad as far as what I'm putting in, in the inputs. Uh, but here's a good example to show you. Sometimes you do need to be a bit more specific. You know, a lot of people go in and, and type half of their script as the input. That is not what you want to do. But in a, in a case like this, where there's three websites that you specifically want to talk about, list the websites there. Uh, so I just say three websites to use AI, one scribe to use Dojo, three podcasts of AI, and then all three of those are mentioned in the script, right? So if you're, I were to go do a similar input like this, after I train the model, it should end up outputting um, these three websites with a little bit more context. So that's sometimes where you're going to want to give a bit more of an input, but overall, you know, pretty broad stuff here is Zapier and Make. Anyways, uh, I have my 44 examples in here. Now it's time to train the model. So. You guess it, we go right to train model, and then it's gonna tell you uh, the size of your training. So I'm breaking my own rule here with 44 examples. Uh, we like to get up to 50 for best results. Uh, it's gonna tell you here, but you actually only need 10 in order to train a model. So uh, keep all that in mind, and then we'll just press train model. It'll tell you how many credits. Um, so this will cost 132 credits based on the 44 examples. So I'll press train. All right. And then it'll say success. It'll say view your model. However, this is going to take some time, guys. You know, depending on how many examples you have, it might take five minutes. It might take 30. Uh, I'm expecting this with 44 to take, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, feel free to go over to the marketplace, use some of these pre made models. Uh, to do that, you'll just simply click on uh, the one you want to use. There'll be a usage video there. And then you can just use this model. This will clone it into your account and then boom. Now I go start writing Instagram real scripts with this model. Then <laughs> again, um, awesome script. It looks like about AI YouTubers. So feel free to play around with this stuff. Maybe it'll give you some scripts to add to a data set that you want to use. Maybe it'll just give you uh, some inspiration of what you want to train on, but I will see you when my model has finished training. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, maybe even less, and my model is ready to go. And as soon as your model is trained, you will get an email notification, and then you can head right over to models here, and you'll see in your personal models, it showed up. So Gavin's Reels V1, here it is, and now we can start generating. So let's give it uh, some different topics than what it was trained on. All right, so I'm just going to type in a secret website that uses AI to enhance your audio, and let's see what we get. It's a thought of sleeping here with the concrete. All right, here we go. This website is a game changer for content creators. It's a secret website that uses AI to enhance your audio. I've used this website to enhance all the audio on my videos, and it makes a huge difference. That being said, I don't think this website is ready to be shown in public just yet. Wow. So as you can see, guys, it created an amazing script. It's in the style that we trained it on there. Uh, it's even asking uh, a call to action, which is amazing because most of my reels do use that. And overall, it's just a really good generation. Even if I don't use this exactly, I can take this, modify it a little bit, edit stuff right within here. Uh, and then I can always press this regenerate button right here if I wanted it to be something completely new. So I'll just press regenerate to show you guys. Uh, now it's going to generate a script completely unique, uh, but on the same topic here. Boom. This website uses AI to make your audio sound better. You just drag and drop an audio file to the site and it'll automatically remove all the background noise and make the audio sound like a professional microphone was used.
So I like this one a lot. Let's pretend that I uh, was ready to go. I didn't have to edit a thing. What I can do here is a few options. So I can add it to uh, back to my data set, right? So if I wanted to continuously improve the Gavin Rios model, uh, I can take all the best outputs that I have, maybe some with a little bit of my editing, uh, and I can add it back to the data set so we can keep getting those examples up, right? Uh, the best models that we found are just more and more high quality, relevant examples, the better. Uh, the other thing that I can do is add to a list. So I don't have any lists yet, uh, but if you go over here to the collection section, I could create a list. Uh, so let's just create a collection of scripts. And then boom, I have this list here and I can go back to the model and add this to that list. Awesome. Now there's a few other things to show you. Uh, if we head over to the settings here, uh, you'll see that the prompt template there, it's hard coded in, right? A short form script about topic of a style guy with Thibodeau. Uh, you can add a script of your model if it would be helpful for you. And then uh, the big thing here is temperature. So uh, by default, we put the temperature at 0.7. Uh, this is just what we find using the most, but always encourage you to come in here and modify it, right? So the closer that this temperature gets to one, the more creative the AI model is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna take more risks, it's gonna be more creative, uh, use more unique words. So just to show you, let's put it at one. This might be a bit crazy, not sure where we're about to get out of this, but then let's regenerate with the temperature at one. Okay, so this is the generation with the temperature at one. Uh, it does seem to be a bit more creative. It capitalized some stuff here. Uh, it added in some pretty unique copy that honestly I like. This website has been a literal lifesaver. So uh, definitely play around with the temperature. Again, if you put it all the way down here, uh, it's going to be super, super uh, safe with the wording, right? It's going to be less creative, more stagnant with it. Just to show you, we could have won one. But highly encourage you guys to always play around with your temperature. It's never going to be one that... Uh, it's never going to be the same thing every time with all of your models. And yeah, as you can see, uh, nothing crazy or creative about this one. So definitely play around with this stuff. So there you have it. That's how to train a personal AI copywriter in just a handful of minutes. If you have a creativity problem like most of us, this should completely take care of that. I've even sold these custom AI models to content creators and businesses for thousands of dollars because they're just that damn powerful. Feel free to sign up for Dojo using my link in the description below. And if you need automation and AI services, whether that's done for you or coaching, also check the description for the links on those. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe for more sauce like this.